All right, back at it one more time, y'all. Hopefully everything is good. Uh, came across this auto car. Another auto car. Um, I think this is the uh, AC. Let me see. I gotta see exactly what this is. What truck is this? Let me go in here and I'll tell y'all what it is in a minute. Okay, it's Auto Car Series AT. I think it's an AT64. Came across it. So now you got the DC and we got the AC. So that's an AC right there. That's an AC. And I'm going to show y'all the difference between the AC and the DC. I should have it in here somewhere. So that truck actually looks more like, um, let's see, where is that? Okay, this is the DC. So that's it. That's the DC and that's the AC. So those are the difference between the two. So you get the AC, uh, courtesy of uh, XBS. Uh, and then I think they it came out with some other trucks also for a uh, Euro truck. I'll probably be uh, showcasing those because I haven't been playing Euro truck in a minute. And I'll probably showcase that uh, uh, momentarily. I mean, another another time. Not sure when I'm going to. I'm not making no promises. Now, these lights up here don't really come with the truck. It is heavy hauled. Um, uh, has heavy haul applications on it. Still rolling with the but uh, uh, realistic, uh, beautiful weather. Um, I don't know if I'm um, gonna deal with that, but I'm hearing that now um, the AIs can actually come in to, like for instance, we'll say um, if you had the real export or at a bigger, ex bigger uh, or like we're um, at the port and they can actually drive the trucks, drive their trucks in. So I don't know if they actually, that's something that um, I don't think is a mod because somebody just posted it on Facebook. So one of the groups. Um, so I'm just pretty much passing uh, what, what I came across, you know, and that's it. I'm just bringing, bringing it up to speed. On what I come across and I know those that are in groups they I'm sure you have probably seen it by now I tried to share it on my group I mean, on my page could not show it you know maybe it just wasn't meant for me to show it so fine and dandy um, but um, you never know what SCS is all is, is doing now they got a F F mod or F something it's supposed to has to do with the, um, the realisticness of the of the sounds, uh, the outside sounds, not, and don't quote me on this. We may uh, never know. Maybe it's in the right directions for them to start at adding more to uh, the trucks. You know, just like I said, you never know which way they're going. Um, they could be working on multiple projects, and all you can do is just kind of go with the flow. Um, despite also, um, just like I said, um, a few videos ago, uh, Idaho will be out or it'd be, they're moving forward with that project too. So don't know. We don't know. We just can't speculate. Oh, I guess I'll take this concrete slab out of work. I don't want to be on here that long. We're going to go and get the concrete slab. Oh. Sort of in the way a little bit. I'm gonna let y'all see the inside of it. Very nice. I mean, they did an excellent job. I decided to go with the splicer shifter. Plus, you got the little the little bump in the back. So, uh, I am going to uh, press the wrong button. I'm gonna actually 
move the seat back a little bit. I was already back as far as I could get it. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Bring that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, gonna fire her up. You're coming with me. I'm the Terminator. Let's drive. I'm not sure what motor we got in here. Maybe Detroit. Those that are good with the engine sounds. I'll let y'all guess that. So it is heavy haul um, equipped. It's got the beak. I mean, it may not have the beacons on it. Those are just an added bonus that I came across as I had mod already in. Um, I will probably still do it and then it, there's no guarantee that this is gonna be heavy haul I just like the whole point of having the truck equipped Without actually having to go and change something up now if I decide to do heavy haul I'll be ready to do it, you know, and that's all it is so you know a lot of folks think that you are supposed to just um, Not have the badge in and you got to go back to go it because the only way you can actually um at these uh, accessories, you have to keep going back to the dealership. So I'm not going to be going back to the dealership to take flags off, or take the take the uh, banner off, or you know, going through all these extra scenarios and wasting time. So, <clears throat> but uh, we're gonna still get going. Uh, also, I'm pulling the Benson trailer, and I think this well, this trailer's got an added bonus, which I added. About it. and I don't know if I added it or it was added it may have been already in the script and all I did was just actually activated it for my setup so um, ain't no use of having both axles down we are pulling the straight spread so just gonna make sure it's down and we're gonna go on and get going so 18 miles away from the from our destination and I'm rolling with the shifter again. Keep right. And then turn right. Do we have one traffic mod in here? Uh, I came across another traffic mod. I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it. I'm going to see. I'm going to try to experiment and see if they actually, if these, um, AIs actually do do what they, you know. Hopefully, it doesn't um, conf, conflict with whatever SES has going on already with the um, with their updates. And that's the thing that I, I try not to have going on with the mod all the time. Also, still representing XOP uh, Logistics. I only have 14 speeds. I might have only 14 speeds. I keep thinking I got 18 speeds. <laughs> I forgot I decided to change this, the shifter up, the, the transmission all the way up. So I got a splicer. So.
Oh, well, pretty good. I think that's as far as we can go. With yeah, okay, we can go high. Okay. Mine is short. Keep right. And then exit right. And show my, uh, I think last time I. Exit uh, right. I insist. Didn't show my other monitor so I want to make sure it's showing the other monitor too so um, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep that position for that camera I used to have it and I think I don't know if y'all actually looked at the video when I actually had pretty much the whole setup actually being showcased and that technically meant that the uh, that was the same camera but it was a different it was the same camera but it was an older camera, same camera. I just this is, was my replacement because I don't know what was the deal with it, and I wasn't taking a chance. I had a warranty, so I wasn't worried about that. Keep but right. um, I had it on a tripod sitting right next to me. That's how you were able to see, and I think I might have had it actually extended up. So you know, so you never know which way I'm gonna go. Some of these older transmissions actually respond slower, so you kind of have to go with the flow. <laughs> and this is this is an auto car, so which I didn't even know. I didn't really pay attention, but I, I think I seen an auto car. It was an old auto car. I don't know if it was as old as this one, but it actually had Volvo on it. I was like, oh, so it is. So it's part of Volvo. I didn't know. You know, and you, just like I said, you never know. What is what, you know, you can't always say that uh, this is that and, and whatnot. Now, I can tell you something else. I wish I had the picture of it because I, I know I had Turn somebody left. told me that the 680, the, Ford, the, 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 the Kenworth 680 was light, was a light truck. Now, I did see a truck. This was a truck going back past my street and it had scrolls and it had a heavy haul setup. You know, it was an eight by four, I mean six by four setup, but it was for heavy haul because it had the beacons. I didn't have the flags, but it, it was ready for heavy hauling. So, like I said, you never know what these trucks are all designed for. I mean, because you you may be an enthusiast or whatever, or thinking you you know you don't grew up around trucks so long that you don't know, or you think you know no trucks, and sometimes you will be fooled. Full because I've actually heard of trucks having brand new brand new uh, brand new bodies with old engines but they're I mean somebody actually whoever the person actually um, turn left wanted their um, they wanted just the truck itself they wanted their engine in a brand new truck I mean it was an old engine but you know, it looked good. It looked like a brand new, brand new engine. You know, and I was like, "Wow!" You know, but I didn't know, uh, and that was something that a lot of your—I uh, don't know if it was, he was an owner operator. I think he might have been an owner operator, and he liked it, his his motor so. Uh, he liked it, his motor so that he he wanted the motor in another truck, in a brand new truck. I didn't understand it, but I mean, maybe he had the truck, had the motor rebuilt, you know, from the ground up. And then if you have it built from the ground up, it's still considered brand new, you know. So I'm not going to say, you know, speculate or try to, you know, dissect what he was saying or what they were with the person, well, the driver, the owner that actually owned the truck actually wanted to do because that was something on him. That was something that he wanted to do. You know, I couldn't uh, couldn't just say, "Oh well, he don't know what the heck he's talking about." You know, and you can't just say that. <laughs> you just can't say that. 
because you got a lot of things that are out here that you don't know nothing about not unless you do your research you get the facts and if you get with a developer or I mean not a developer uh, a manufacturer you can get whatever you want and I have I, I've, I sub to um, on Facebook a lot of guys that actually well gentlemen that actually you sell right. trucks for a living from the Vista, baby. and there is it, it's amazing how a lot of these trucks um, you can have them with you can have them built the way you want and it doesn't matter I never knew it and not until I found out and started doing my research you know so you can't never say oh well I've been around I've been around trucks all my life and I grew up around trucks and that's all I know I'm just I'm not trying to pick on nobody I'm not trying to belittle nobody but just like I said just get the facts in place first before you say anything that's all I tell anybody you know never say that uh, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and probably park this. I mean, this is a short run anyway. I'm gonna hit it. Yes, I find. I don't know if I may not have enough room to back this thing up. That's probably why they're giving me the free course. To, uh, it's just like somebody else. I had looked at somebody's post, and they looked at their their badging. Well, they looked at their their banners. And they had a tarp on their trader, and all they show was because now I mean some people don't want you showing videos on their on their groups, which is fine. It's fine, whatever. I'll I show pictures. That's another. Now you see why I do pictures all the time, because because of that. Because a lot of times I have to showcase what I'm doing, and that's the only way I can actually showcase. Because you know people are thinking you you that you're trying to. Uh, uh, sell their I mean sell uh, trying to sell or trying to promote your channel and all this other stuff which that's why I make my own my own channel my own page you know and a person could want to want come in there if they that's what they want to do or whatever so I'm sort of tired and I'm sort of wanted to do this because uh, I'm gonna be soon laying back down so I was trying to get some things updated uh, and I had already put this truck together. I was tired. I think I was, was coming down with something. So, um, cause I know I was, uh, wasn't feeling the best. So maybe still kind of, cause you got the flu going on. You got all kinds of things going on around us. So you never, never know what is what. So, so we're going to load up and see what we so we got some slabs here, I think, which are pretty heavy. I think 51,000 pounds. Yep, 51,919 pounds concrete slabs, which I'm glad. I mean, I appreciate the one that created this trader because now they put in. I mean, they they got. I mean, now you know exactly. You don't. You can't. You don't have to read what it say and guess what it is. You know exactly what it is. You see it, and that's cool. You know that's why I mean I'm anybody that updated my that's what I'm trying to tell you you got a lot of it has to do with you excuse me hold on a minute let me move my these cords around a little bit things kind of tied up a little bit around me but you never know because I'm looking for Sarah Connor but we can go to your destination first so this is an hour 37 minutes short run I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another run so, I gotta conserve my energy a little bit and I think I've been sort of under the weather I've been fighting this fighting this flu not fighting it for myself but I'm fighting the ailments of it because there's so many people sick and stuff and I'm just trying to um, I had the flu shot before and I don't know if it actually it didn't really agree with me because um, I have to watch what I take you know what what I intake uh, whatever drug I intake because I'm be taking things and I don't need it side effects happening or and things of that nature so
How did this slip? That's weird. Oh, what the heck? Transmission is doing. I know I had to go through the gears. Yeah, but, um, you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And I'm just trying to watch myself as best as I can. Not a spring chicken anymore. Um, and I had seen, I had, I was looking in one of the groups and I noticed it was a gentleman that actually was one of our fellow uh, ATS drivers and um, he's no longer with us, you know, and it's sad, you know, because I didn't know he was, you know, a lot of people, I don't, I mean, I, I know people through the group, through their group, I mean, through the groups, and that's all as far as I, we can go, I mean, a person can, can friend me, as long as you ain't on that crazy stuff, we can be friends or whatever, and it's cool, you know, so I have some people that sub, I mean, not uh, friend request me, because they may want a personal relation, personal, more personal relationship. Just fine, you know. That's what Facebook is all about. Uh, and then, you know, the group just kind of keeps us a little bit close, but still keeps the distance and it balances things out. So, uh, and I, I didn't. I mean, I think when I seen the post and it said his daughter, I, this is Chris's daughter. His name is Chris Delaney. This, don't quote me on the last name, but his name was Chris. I know that much. But uh, shout out to him. Um, and he's no longer with us. Um, my condolences to the family. Um, I don't wish nobody to have to go through that because I had to go through it myself. Um, had a couple friends or friend, a couple of associates of mine that passed away. I ain't, and I'm not good with funerals and stuff like that. So, so I didn't want to. I mean, I did view the body. Yeah. Turn right, and he we wasn't really close. I don't like that. I mean, I met him like a couple times, and then I would see him here and there because he was technically um, somebody else's friend. So, turn right, and it was cool. He was cool, you know. But um, you know, I just didn't want to impose because you know, and I never really liked it. Funerals. I mean, I'm not, I to this day, I, I mean, I just don't. That's just something that I just don't like to be uh, involved in if I can help it. But um, I did send my condolences. I did sign the book. Uh, me and my wife did, you know. And um, that's and then I left at that at that. And uh, the family was tripping. They wanted everybody to view the body, the viewing and the funeral all in one like little setting. And I was just like too much. You know, so I mean, you have a certain day for a body to be viewed, and things like that. Not to be talking about that, but I'm just because that's the subject we, you know, I just stumbled across because I didn't know that this gentleman had passed away, and he had a nice little setup and everything. He was one of our, one of us, and that's the thing. That, I mean, we we played a game, and then we let all this petty stuff, you know, shortchange us, and and it's and it's a game. It's just a game. Real life, when we deal with real life, you got folks that are actually going through stuff in real life. And then, and then and I think the gentleman was going through cancer. I had another business partner of mine had to go through chemo and rest. And had to go through procedures of cancer, you know, because he had cancer. My wife had cancer. She left. You know, I, and, you know, that's a low blow for me. And, uh, you know, and I mean, me, I mean, even dealing with that, you know, that's why I was, that's why I was so... Uh, involved uh, with the breast cancer thing because I'm a, you know, my wife was a survivor, so you know, she was a survivor. Let that phone kind of ring a little bit. It's nobody, but somebody bothering us, you know. But I, you know, <laughs> but uh, you know, life is too short. People don't understand. You know, he just uh, buried Kobe, finally, and his daughter. It's just a lot going on in the world, and we just need to be more positive and, 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 and push all that crazy stuff aside. 
you know, all that pettiness, all that bullying stuff. That stuff is, is old news. That's why I, I, I mean, I talked about it. And I had to laugh at it because it was crazy that I had to talk about that. I should not have to talk about that in my stream. I should not have to worry about somebody um, creating problems in a stream or in a, uh, or within my surroundings. I should not have to do that. You know? And then you have people that's dealing with this stuff in the real world. You know? And you got people dying in and, and, and people we still ain't got a we still ain't got a clue on what's going on. You know? Or we high on our high horse and we think we gonna be here today and we don't know. We just don't know. You know we just don't know. And, and, and I mean it took this gentleman's daughter to come in and say that he had passed away. And what can we say about that? You know, what can we say about that? We could have had um, a disagreement with this with this gentleman and now we gotta live with that. You know. We gotta live with that. So um, it's crazy, you know, and sometimes you gotta, you know, and, you know, I deal with a lot of toxic environments all the time, you know, keep left, and, and it's sad that we, we can't, as a human race, we can't get along, it's sad, let the littlest thing bother us, or the little thing, we let this money, let this little petty stuff that don't, that, that it's gonna die, you know, out. <laughs> it's just gonna die out, just like we're gonna die out. You know, and you can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. Keep right. You know? So we then exit right. So we about to be dropping system. off. And I just wanted to kind of hop in a little bit, short video, real quick. Exit right. I insist. Uh, not to really take up a lot of time. In 200 meters, turn left. I think turn I forgot left. forgot our um, our picture. I sure forgot it, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I forgot. I sure forgot it. I think I figured out. Well, my video thing still isn't showing my videos. I had to actually pull my screenshot out. To share it with somebody else because uh it was another gentleman actually had made some scans for a trader at the, for one of the trucks that for the sleeper i put i had just uh showcase uh, a few days ago and i thanked him for creating the skins for i mean i ain't got no money for them but i thanked him for it you know uh, but i mean I, I, I mean a lot of times it ain't always about the money you know, because you got some folks that generally do stuff just because it's, it's out the kind of their own know, heart. You know, and they want to share their talent. Meters, you know, right. And they're not trying to make a dollar off somebody. You know. Turn right. Yeah, but I he got he, it was two skins. I, I got them, and I had downloaded them. I haven't got a chance to use them yet because I'm still using the company scans for now um, until I decide to change and do do something different, you know. So I'm just kind of just just going with the flow and then trying to enjoy my my the little time I have. Now the thing about it is, now this is 51,000 pounds. Now this is oversized. They say oversized load. I mean, my opinion would be to run scrobes with this. Why? Because it's it's half of a, it's half of a hundred thousand pounds. You know, anything sixty thousand pounds, fifty thousand pounds, fifty. I say fifty thousand pounds and up should be should be. Um, you know, just like the other video I had posted uh, from uh, big rig truck videos or something like that, and. Um, those that actually follow my page, I mean, follow me on my gaming page, should have seen it. And it was actually farming equipment. That thing, those things were humongous, and they were sixty thousand pounds. That's all they were. They, but they had restrictions when it came down to height, and when it came down to width, and they had you had to have special permits. Why? 
because you have some in the, some places now we'll say in Pennsylvania now watch this I can tell you I'm gonna tell you all this right before we cut off there's weight there's there's um, 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 height restrictions in Pennsylvania all through Pennsylvania and technically if you drive to Pennsylvania because I've been on the Pennsylvania Turnpike they make you pay for the height Turn right and the higher you get the more they pay how hey, you pay and um, and I think they they're not one they're one of the most expensive is toll uh, they have the most expensive they're one of the most one of the most one of the cities that have the most that's that charge you the most in regards of your um, your tolls next to next to New York Okay, there's some other states that do the same thing, but you got a lot of low clearance areas around there in that city. I mean, within that state, um, that has to do with bridges. You have trussles, you know, and they make you pay for that. This technically is higher than. Now, watch this. This this low. I'm gonna show y'all something. That low is taller than me. Okay, it's taller than me. It's taller than my trailer, and my trailer is. We'll say it's. If I had an actual box trader, that box trader is 13.8. Okay, 13.8. Okay. Now, to be comfortable about driving that trailer in the city, and uh, you have the, you need a bridge at least it's 14 feet. And if it's not 14 feet, you're not getting under there. And I've seen a lot of drivers. I mean, drivers that are experienced not pay attention. And when I took my test, I'm gonna tell y'all something. When I took my test for uh, my CDL, I was driving a school bus, but I didn't want the school bus endorsement. I just wanted the, the air brake endorsement. That's all I wanted, and I paid for my license. That examiner had asked me. We got ready to make a left turn. We were on a country road, and he had asked me what that sign, what that clearance sign said. All I could tell him was I was too busy paying attention to the traffic coming from through the bridge from under the bridge and the reason why I said that because he could have caught me slipping he well this was the second time I got I mean I had missed messed up because the first time I made a left turn on a 55 mile an hour country road with a, at least a 40 foot bus because that bus it had it was a school bus it was old international with the old uh, old international motor in it Okay, it was air brakes. It was a beat. It was a beat. Beat the crap. Okay, it was beat the crap. Oh, we got the draw bridges out. Wow, this is nice. So y'all get a chance to see the draw bridges. Turn the hazards on. Pull up just a little bit. Y'all get a chance to see this. One day, you know, I was actually streaming, and I didn't stream this. I was so pissed. And this was uh, what was I doing? I didn't and this is three bridges if y'all see it that's three draw bridges okay so um, it was crazy how um, he asked me that that's why I'm always looked at clearance signs I've always paid attention to clearance and you can't quote me on it because I've always paid attention even if I'm in my civilian car I don't even have to be even on this game I'm looking at the clearance now the clearance on on these on this game is way over scale and the reason why because they know you know they make sure the bridges are 22 feet why because you're dealing with your width times your height times your length okay so you you don't know what you're gonna be dealing with until you get there you know being a trucker being a driver all the above so you never know so hopefully y'all like the scenery like this like the water, like everything, you know. I like to show the sceneries because that's more that's something that everybody should be seeing. And then this will help people understand the whole the, the seriousness. Oh, I gotta put it in. Hold on. Think of, there we go. I think I might have had the uh, the brakes on. Now I got my shifter. My um, I can shift off the off the pedal as well as the shifter, so I can actually tap shift, and it will it will shift gears. 
I don't, you know, and that's something that I set up. I set up, set it up both because sometimes the gears you you lose a gear, and you can regain the gear if you do it the way. See, we're going over. I think we gotta go this way. Yeah, you gotta go this way. I was about to go the other way to make sure I was going the right way. Two hundred meters. Turn left. Okay. So. Um, clearance is very important. People, I've seen a lot of truckers, and I had posted, I think I posted a picture, I don't know if I posted it on a page, but I posted it on somebody else's page, where somebody, a trucker, was driving a 53 foot, he got too close to a pole and knocked the pole off and knocked the lights down and everything in a city that's broke. You never want to break down or create a, ooh, man, I'm hitting the, I hit the, I hit my parking brake. Sorry about that. Got my hand on my head and my, um, my side panel. Yeah, so you never know, you never want to break down in a in a in a broke in a broke city because you're gonna be paying. And that's the thing that he didn't I don't know if it was a woman, man, or whatever. But they had they had the utility people out there. You had so many folks out there dealing with that issue that was avoidable. Because he came down first. His first mistake was he came down a street that actually put him too close to the pole. Because it was a turning lane. It, it was two lanes. One is a turning lane, and, and the other one isn't a turn lane. Okay, one you can turn right, and the other one was, you could turn left. And you could go straight, but you can't go straight anymore now because they turn into a one way coming out onto the street, onto the main drag. So you, so you, he was, he was technically, he technically should have been over in the Keep in the right. turning lane and, 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 and swinging right. it, but he shouldn't have been on the street at all. That's that's where he made his mistake. Turn right. Yeah, that's where that's where he made his mistake, and it, and it was sad that he had to deal with that as a as a trucker but you got to know better i mean you got you cannot you know and then this city actually has trussles Turn right you have arrived okay so this is what we're dropping off okay we're dropping it why are we dropping this off here okay well whatever all right i get another picture yeah so you have to be careful with some of these places I just noticed this thing. I noticed that we got the address. Wow! It's, look at the address. I, I just noticed that there's addresses on the on on the on the building, and that's something I never really paid attention to. You know, even though we got street signs, and I never really paid attention to that either. But I noticed the signs right there. I noticed other signs here and there. But you know. Um, you have to pay attention if you want to drive that's even even a, in a civilian car you have to pay attention i mean i wonder how half of these folks get their license you know and you have to pay attention and i know that for myself because i'm a driver i drive for a living i drive a bus i have to pay attention all the time because i have passengers that get off the bus they don't pay attention they walk in front of the bus i never heard of why would you walk in front of a moving vehicle, a vehicle that's getting ready to take off? I never could understand that. Why wouldn't you go around the back of the of the vehicle? I've, I, that's something that even when I rode on the municipal bus, I've always waited until the bus went past me, or I would actually walk around the back of the bus. Why? Because that driver doesn't have time to wait for you. You know, people are inconsiderate of others. You know. And that's the thing that burns me, burns me, you know, because people don't really, uh, they're selfish, they're selfish, and it's sad to be selfish, but enough griping, <laughs> I'm always griping, but it, it, and it's almost, I'm always griping because I'm tired of folks continue to do, make, uh, make excuses or create other problems or, or because they feel in some type of way, they, you know, and I try to be neutral, you know, I, I try not to be over, and I don't try to be under. I try to be in the middle. You know, I meet you. I mean, I talk to anybody. Don't care about who you are. It don't matter color, creed, religion, whatever. We talk. We can talk because you're human. You blood, you bleed red just like I do. 
So it's no problem, you know. And we agree to disagree. That's how we get an understanding, you know. But when you think you know or think you know something, you'll find out that you don't know, and you know, and it's and it's just sad, you know. But uh, we're gonna go on ahead and drop this here. Let me see. Oh no, I can't drop the trailer. I forgot I own the trailer. <laughs> so that's concrete slabs delivered from uh, Seattle to Everett, um, and pretty much. Um, I'll let y'all see any other loads that, that that can be found. Let's see if there's any other loads here. They got plenty of other loads. Wow. So, okay then. All right. So, that, that was right. So, we can pull generators. Man. Oh, this is interesting. Ooh, man. That's too long. So, it, so they did right. I mean, I just didn't think about it. We could pick up other stuff here. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. All right, here's another load. Okay, I guess I'll grab this one too. So we'll go and grab this one and it, we'll go right back to the rail port. Um, so we'll do like a, a swing. So more concrete uh, parts. So this one is a little bit, oh, this one's a little bit heavier. 55,372 uh, concrete barriers going to Seattle uh, rail port. And I go ahead and do this run, and that'll be it. Um, but the thing about it is, you gotta you gotta always pay attention. You gotta always pay attention, pay attention to your surroundings, pay attention to what's going on around you, and it helps you along. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's hit the road. All right, I think this time I just gone ahead. Oh. Let me go ahead and get this picture. Uh, this time, I think I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna try to stay inside the truck as much as I can. Um, but uh, I mean, sometimes you. I mean, that's the whole point of having the cameras, because you don't have to stay inside the truck. I mean, that's something that that's a preference. But if you're driving the truck in real real time or real life, uh, you got to stay inside the truck. So. That's another reason why you've been seeing me inside the trucks more often because it was a time I used to stay outside the truck. And now I then got used to actually being inside the truck. And it kind of helps with your uh, realism. It kind of gets you uh, comfortable with driving the truck, you know, or kind of have your mindset on how serious uh, this is, you know. So this is the repair facility. I think I did a video before uh, the, uh, the facilities, and if you notice, SES is really trying to really, really dig in and try to put everything in its in its perspective. Uh, before we continue, I want to stop real quick. Let me see something. Uh. A tab out real quick and I want to show you all something real quick before we uh, let me see I can tab in let me stay in I'm gonna show you all what I was telling you all I don't I hate to kind of not show you all certain things um, but uh, we talked about it earlier because I just got into the other subject so so I'm gonna go on ahead and tab out okay let me show y'all something real quick it should show plus I gotta let these screenshots show up a lot of this stuff is behind this is a lot of stuff that I did in time past so it's always something to be done um, where is that thing I wanted to show y'all real quick uh, you probably can go to the forearm. Let me see if it should be on here somewhere. No, it's not here. It's not here. This isn't it. Um, oh, no, it's not there. It may be in the world of trucks. We may be able to see it in the world of trucks. 
because I had talked about they supposed to be create supposed to be giving us more sounds. Okay, this is F mod. That's what it's called, F mod. Okay, um, so this is what it's about, and so that means they're gonna be um, adding more sounds or allowing more sounds or they allowing this company to come in and help with their sounds. You know the enhancement of the sounds or amp amplifying of the sounds, things of that nature. So, um, so that's something that they're trying to do. Hopefully, it's in the right direction. Um, hopefully, y'all can see what I see because I'm just showing y'all just a glimpse. And I did post it on the on the, on my uh, gaming page, so you can read it. It's a small article of what they're doing, and they always trying to broadcast what they're doing. Plus, they also are um, out and about. So, you got to kind of understand where they're going. So, um, the direction that they're going. You know, because they already out. They're not really, I don't think they, well, they may be still working on some stuff. But I know some of their uh, associates, I, should say, I use that word, are actually doing uh they have a schedule where they're trying to keep that they're doing the simulators and they have events that are across the states and across the country so uh, that's what they're doing so that's all that's all i'm trying to tell you uh, we don't know which way they're going all we can do is just be prepared to go wherever they're going all right let's get back in the game just wanted to kind of show you all that before because it's only an hour 15 minutes on this run. And once I ask it, and then I'll be um, moving on to the next phase. So I just wanted to kind of see and make sure I was going the right way because it looked kind of eerie. Okay, so uh, uh, all right, Avalanche Steel. Turn left. So it's got us going this way. Interesting. Interesting. And that's another reason why I try to pay attention to which way. Okay, we they got us turning. Okay, we'll turn. We'll follow them. Because the GPS, a lot of times, is trying to tell us, trying to tell, take us a certain way. Oh, I think we may be going the wrong way. Now you kind of see why I like to go outside the game. To go, go outside because because sometimes we could be going the wrong way. So we're in another we're in another property. That's what it is. So we're going to go out, and I might have to turn around, and we're going to take a chance. We may bump into some stuff trying to get straightened out because we went into another business, and that's another reason why sometimes you got to go out. I just pro I just pretty much did that on purpose so y'all can see why you see why I do certain things. Now I'm trying to pay attention and trying to talk to y'all too. Now if I was just um, just focus on the game, then I wouldn't be wouldn't be made that mistake. So we're making a right turn, and that and this is pretty much for the newbies, you know, because I know the newbies maybe may not be used to uh, direction because uh, when we started out with the game we didn't have GPS we didn't have GPS we didn't we had to figure out which way to go we had GPS but we didn't have no one telling us how to to go a certain way and things like that it, it didn't wasn't voice uh, voice navigation so So, and I must tell y'all something else. Also, when I used to play this, uh, when I uh, when I used to see the city trucks, and then they would put those concrete barriers, they would have trucks, but they were low boys, and they would have these concrete barriers, and they were heavy haul, and they had the, they had the heavy haul banner on the front, as well as they had the um, two hundred meters turn left. They had the. Um, the flags and some of them had the lights so you never know when you're going to be heavy haul 
we just don't know. You know, we, especially if you own an operator. So if you own an operator, you're going to make sure, and we're on operator. You know, I'm not, I mean, this is my truck. I, I don't have my skin on it, but it's my truck. So you never know. And, I'm, and I don't have time to go back to the shop to go and put on nothing. Now, if we, now some some drivers actually have places where they could put their banners, put their flags and stuff. There's no place to put it on this truck, you know, other than up, other than maybe in the little box right here on the sides. That's where you had the headache rack, where you can put chains and stuff on. That's why, you know, things are are there for a purpose, you know. So, you know, when you you know you have to carry everything with you you know just trying to just trying to help you help you see a little bit further you know, you know. Tagley, my family from Midway in Leeds, Alabama. That's in the states. For those that may uh, may not may be from uh, uh, out of the states, they may be from other states. You know, other uh, from another country or something like that. So, my I come from a long line of Turn right. country folks. I mean, I, even though I'm a, I'm a city boy, but I wasn't born. I mean, I was born a city boy, but it's in my blood to be, you know, you know, because I eat southern folk food. I eat what you call soul food, things of that nature. You know, I grew up around that that atmosphere. So, and then sometimes you would hear me hear a little of the country dialect come out because that's where I'm from. I mean, you know, I'm from. Uh, and some people say, well, you know, you're not from there. You may be from another, you know, from over from Africa, you know, which is fine, too. I know that, too. You know, I'm not going to discredit any of my history. As, um, if, if I knew about it, learned about it, you know, and it's fine. You know, I'll never tell anybody not to to embrace your heritage or your your uh, uh your culture, because that's that's part of you. you know, that's what makes up you, your family and all that. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with family being family oriented. That's what we're supposed to be. You know, we were we were we were hard hard um, uh, hot wired to be that way. You know, you know, as much as a person may not want to admit it, but that's what's about. Yeah, I'm liking this. Uh, this is a nice truck. Turn these high beams on. Now, I like to. If y'all notice the gauges, all the gauges work. That's another thing I've been trying to showcase a lot of the too. 
because it takes it takes time to put this stuff together. People just don't understand. It takes time, you know. And there's some talented folks in the world, you know. There's a lot of talented folks in the world. I never never discredit anybody any talent, but if you are not doing what you're supposed to, then I'm gonna give you, you know I'm, I'm gonna give you some constructive, constructive criticism because you know don't showcase something that you know that you wouldn't like to see, you know. And if you you know. And that's all there is to it, you know. You know, and we and we all make mistakes. We, you know, uh, we, you know, and that's what I talked about. You know, and deal with the 379 because that 379 still was nice, a nice truck. Now, outlaw, as far as what I was told, outlaw is giving it up to somebody else. He's giving it, giving the truck to be uh, done away with the way, uh, and he gave it away. To somebody to go on ahead and, and put together. What the heck is y'all? What is you doing, uh, bus? What is you doing? That's Keep why. I, that's why I had to. I had to come out. I'm sorry. I don't know what he was doing. He cut me off. And then you came right back on on the same rope. I didn't understand that. He could have stayed right in his lane. You know. Keep right. Yeah. So. Um, uh, had a little stumble. Man, real, real bad stumble right there. Um, so he won't be, I guess, it won't be no more outlaw now. So the outlaw that you see me driving, that's it. That was the last outlaw. You know, so, and he drives a truck for real. He drives a truck for real. I, I talked to him on, uh, on in, in somebody else's Discord. You know? And I didn't even know. I just, all I did was pop in the Discord. I, I was just saying hello, you know. And come to find out, I came right in on a conversation that was priceless. Turn left. You know. And I went and missed it for the world because it was it was it was cool to hear from an actual trucker. And this guy actually drives. He drove because outlaw. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you his real name. The only way you'll find out his real name is you have to you have to get with him and find out what his real name is. So it's like I learned how, what his real name is. I'm not gonna tell you everything. You have to be able to uh, have natural affection on your own, you know. But he is a trucker from New Mexico. He's from New Mexico, and uh, and I did show the truck on his page. And I didn't have no problem with nobody, and I guarantee you probably liked it or whatever. You know, people liked it what I posted, you know, and and that was it. You know, now I didn't have to showcase his truck. I didn't have to give him give him his accolades. Why? I didn't have to do it, but because I understood what he was doing, and he was genuinely trying to bring some something, bring something. Uh, some positivity to the community and that's all I seen that's all I seen him doing you know yeah the people that was criticizing the truck all oh, the truck doesn't work and not realizing that if you have another truck that's in here because now just like I said I just proved the point now I have the outlaw and I have the, 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 the Viper 2 truck in here in the same and I just put some more trucks in here um of somebody else and so far the game has been doing what it does now it will stumble or occasionally which is fine you know and I'm fine with it if you're fine with it if you're not fine with it I'm still fine with it you know because I know what my game is all about I know what my you know my uh, my equipment is all about so it's not a problem in 200 meters turn left Turn left. All right, so we're getting ready to turn right about here. It's telling us to turn, so we're gonna turn right about here. So don't think I can't drive this truck inside. Now, even if I just had the one screen, I still can drive it inside. I did it before. <laughs> you know, arrived. Ooh, they go to the train. The train, but ooh, he gonna hit hit us. Wow, he done got hit by the train. <laughs> You know I had to hit the. Uh, you know I, I knew he was gonna soon get hit. 
We just gonna get hit. We got hit by the train. <laughs> wow. Now you see why I like the scrolls. Why, why it's good to have scrolls on your truck. Alright, I think we may have to bag up because this train is here. So we're going to let the train go on past. <laughs> that was funny. And it wouldn't let me, and, and it's funny, I couldn't even get, I couldn't get across the tracks. It would not let me get across the tracks. Just because that train was right there. Now normally the train would stop. You know, but it's not supposed to stop. It's supposed to keep coming because why? Because I'm in his, I'm in, I'm in his space. You know. Now I'm not getting back into the truck because I need to park this now. So. And I can't see. So I can see around my setup. Now y'all can see the around the setup. Because I showed y'all that, that I can see around the setup. But I'm not putting more pressure than I have to be. You know, and I'm gonna let them go on ahead and park this if it, if it soon. Yep, let them go on ahead and park it. Now I could have went around the back and still no, I wouldn't have been able to get around the back. Because there's something back there. So they purposely put stuff there back there so to make you work. You know, which is fine. But we are not gonna work today. So this is gonna be it and plus the video has been long enough. And we're gonna go on ahead and let them go in and park it. So that's concrete bears but delivered from uh, Everett to um Seattle. And I probably put both uh even though this was the longer video, I put po both uh of what happened you know uh so I, both of those will be in um uh, description part of the video uh according to youtube i might not even do all that because it only and i already have things in my description i have enough in the description already which i'm not gonna go through you know moving stuff around i do post the video i mean post um uh, uh a mod in there if I can and I'm not going to do a whole lot of changing up in that so but I'll catch y'all on the next video appreciate everybody checking me out I'll catch y'all on the next video Proctor 42 out let y'all see the truck last time um, if you're interested in the, to the truck the truck is on the uh, SCS forearm as well as on the mod site but um, you can get it off the forearm and you know or you can ask me for it and then I'll make sure you get it.